Welcome to Martinsville Speedway for the Tackle Myth 400. We are about to close this two week journey after the, this race and this track will determine the championship for when we return here in November. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, J.D. McKillar and Phil Tankson. In row two, Lightning McQueen and Brian Spark. In row three, Cal Weathers, the winner back here in the October race and Chase Race a lot. In row four, rookies H.J. Hollis and Brandon Powercar. In row five, Bubble Wheelhouse and Bobby Swift. In row six, Jackson Storm and Daniel Suarez. In row seven, Cruz Ramirez and Ryan Laney. And in row eight, teammates Colin Bargain and Master Dragon 4000. Here's the race format. 20 laps, 10.52 miles around the 0.52 mile track. And pit road speed is 35 miles per hour. The pace car makes a hard left turn to the pits. Get ready for 20 laps around Martinsville Speedway with Phil Tankson and Jay McPillar taking the green flag here at Martinsville. So far, Lightning McQueen and JD McPillar are only having a single foul line, and while the others are just doing too wide. JD McPillar leads the first lap. Battle for third place Phil Tankson versus Cal Weathers in the back. Yep, we're still seeing the battle. Cal Weathers is in third. Here's the fence cam. Now back to the regular cameras. Brian Spark wants a piece of that action. Side by side for fourth place. Brian Spark versus Phil Tankson. Phil Tankson lost. Brian Spark won. The scoring board is using the data from the last lap whenever all the cars where the leader crosses the start finish line. Light McQueen still trying to catch up to JD McPillar, so he'll be able to get his first win of the, of the season. Colin Bargain all the way to the top 10. Still strong after Richmond, which was last week. We got trouble. Jackson Storm brings out the first caution of the day. A bunch of smoke comes out of the number 20. He will either pull up in the back straight away or he will head to the pits. Now we have an engine blow up for two weeks in a row. First it was in Richmond, now it's in Martinsville. And the pits are open, let's see what just happened. Directly in the front straightaway is car blew up. Let's have an onboard with Bobby Swift starting now. Oh, there was a bunch of smoke covering him. At least he was able to dodge it. And we'll be right back for the Tackle Man 400. We're under the yellow flag. Welcome back to the Taco Man 400 here at Martinsville Speedway. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car and are about to restart double foul once they reach into turn three. So you will see the fence cam of the cars um, restarting double foul once the, the, the drivers are in, there in the back. We'll see them um, divide into, uh, into two rows or into two columns. Sorry. Here we go. Through the restart zone. 
The green flag is back in the air here at Martinsville Speedway. Jackson Starling is out of the race. They can't even fix the damage anymore. So he's out. Jay McPillar still has that momentum from earlier, so he's mostly dominating this race. And I realized we didn't do a halfway jam, so uh, instead we're going to have a race jam. Once the, uh, one of the cars will zoom by, by our one of our um, uh, fence camps, and we'll have an onboard with the drivers. We've seen the battle for third place or second. It was uh, uh, Chase Racelot, Cal Weathers, and Lightning McQueen. Here's the race jam. to go, J.D. McPillar still dominating the race. We've seen battle for second place, Chase Bracelot versus Cal Weathers. Light McQueen dropped all the way to fourth place. I do not know what's with him so far this year. Hopefully he does better at Talladega. Pass for second place, Chase Bracelot. Nope, it's Cal Weathers. They're still side by side through the back straightaway. Still wants a piece of that action with three laps to go. Light McQueen got loose against Cal Weathers. They almost wrecked. Battle for fourth place. Colin Bargain wants a piece of that action with Bill Tankson. Jay McPillar is going to cross the start finish line with two laps to go, and he does. That was awkward. I'm not going to lie. Jay McPillar, a few laps away from victory. Now here we go. White flag is out. One more time around here at Martinsville Speedway. Jay McPillar won at Las Vegas earlier this year, and his teammate Colin Bargain won last week. At Atlanta, one of his teammates, Master Dragon 4000, won the race. Now. For the fourth time, Jay McPillar is going to win at Martinsville. And we got side by side for 11th place. It was Dan Suarez. Congratulations to Jay McPillar winning the Tackleman 400. Here are the official results. JD McPillar is the fastest car of the day in two weeks is the Insure Care 500 at Talladega Super Speedway starting at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in Sweet Home Alabama. This is the Candy Cat 127 signing out.